Reed was able to regather it. Slade, tough pull up, couldn't get it to go. Second chance for Phillips. And two more for Hunter Phillips. Welcome into Heidemann 5 on Rewind with Dusty Litzter and Dane Stewart. As always, our five minutes brought to you by Heidemann and Associates. If you ever thought you just needed five minutes with a lawyer, Dane, you and I both know Justin Heidemann's there for you. Yeah, he is, Dusty. And, you know, a lot of times that comes at a cost. It won't with Heidemann and Associates because they're offering a free consultation if you tell them that the Rewind Network sent you. You can learn more at utah.law or give them a call at 801-754-4240 to schedule that free consultation from Heidemann and Associates. Absolutely. And today, you know, it's interesting. We've been talking to players that have had a outstanding performances throughout the, the week, uh, buzzer beating shots, 50 point games. Uh, we got a triple double with a 50 pointer that we're trying to get figured out. I promise that interview is going to be coming soon. And also a young man that helped my favorite team pull out the brooms for the first time in over 26 years on the certain program. But today we wanted to do something a little more special um, and talking to Hunter Phillips from West Lake. Yeah, hey, how about the uh, number one West Lake Thunder and what a year it has been for them. We knew this Region 4 was going to be tight. I don't know if I saw West Lake having a three-game lead in the region with four to go, but that's exactly what they've been able to build. And it's really been around this senior core, Dusty, and Hunter Phillips has been one of the key contributors of that core until he had a devastating injury just two weeks ago that certainly changed his senior season. Here with Hunter Phillips at uh, West Lake. And uh, Hunter, first of all, uh, you know, update us on, on your situation. You know, that season-ending injury, how are you feeling and, and where are you right now? Um, it, was, it was still pretty tough. Um, the hardest part was going to the games, obviously, when they announced the starting lineup. You know, I never thought that that day would be my last day being named at Westlake and in the starting lineup. So that's always the toughest. Um, I love being there and supporting my team. And, uh, you know, I'll coach them up or tell them what I see on the floor, but it is tough being on the bench instead of playing. Um, I mean, it is you get a different view of the game for sure on the bench, but it's definitely not as good as playing. Yeah, Hunter, I was actually going to ask you that. How do you feel like your leadership or your contribution for the team has changed? How, has you felt like, how have you felt like you've been able to, to maybe be a leader in a different way uh, since you can't be out on the floor with the Thunder right now? Yeah, I think it's really it's really changed my perspective because I, I see things that I don't always see on the floor, and I can help like Keelan, which is my backup center. I can see I can tell him what I see because as I can't do it on the floor, I can teach him and do tell him what I would do or what my moves would be, or you know if there's a big man going baseline every time, I can help coach him up or even everyone like just being positive and being a leader, but also helping him out and telling him what I see on the floor. You know, it's one of those things where you, your team, you're kind of having that year that you're wanting to have. And um, talk about yeah. how you're how right now mentally you're able to push through and be there for your teammates where you really could just be sulking right now because you're having the dream season. You guys are, you know, they're now 6-0. and oh. They've been able to win since, you know, since they've lost you. And maybe you give them something to play for, or maybe focus a little bit more on. So how have you been able to put aside your disappointment to help the team continue to reach the ultimate goals that you'd all set together? Yeah, see, we've been playing for about four years. We, we played together in the summer on AAU. We've been to uh, um, China and Spain and all those things together. So we've been together for a long time. Yeah. It's really helped with our chemistry and we have depth. And so, you know, and Carling always talked about it's the next man up. And, and he's like, and, and in our region, we have the best depth. And, it, and we really do. I mean, I would go in. I mean, I started and then we would have the second crew come in. We had Keelan take my spot and he did great. He was tremendous and he still is. And he's playing great right now. Um, and so that one-two punch we always had was great. And even now, like when I went out, I was like, well, who's going to fill a center spot? And uh, like, just like Carling, Carling's a great coach and he's always the next man up mentality and always saying, you know, we got things to play for and we got, we got bigger things ahead. And he always, he said something at the beginning of the season, he said, we're going to face adversity. And he didn't think that was going to be with me going out, but he was talking more about Corona. But then he brought it up again. He said, we've now hit adversity and now we've got to see, or we've got to push through that. And when I went out against Corey Kane, I was a little bit worried. But I have never seen my team play better than they did as soon as I went out that game. I have never seen them play better. And they still are continuing to play the best they've ever played. 
Hunter, it's been remarkable. I mean, we knew that Region 4 was going to be so deep and so tough, uh, so competitive this year. Uh, and, and we saw Westlake last year make that run to the quarters. But when did you know or did you have a feel that this team was going to be this special? I mean, you guys are setting program marks. First time, I believe, in program history being ranked number one in the state. You've swept Lone Peak two out of the last three years. You beat Skyridge. I mean, there's so many things there. Did, did you guys – believe that you could be this good no yeah we definitely set a goal last year after we lost we got all of our i mean me noah mccord and noah mattson we all got together and we said next year's our year i mean even even when regions first started i went in the locker room and i was having a chat with Noah, and i said no there's not a team in this state that should beat us i said me and you we need to put the team on our back and we and we i mean the rest of the guys are really good too but it's like this is our year and we had the talent for it so all out and with me being out they've done even better and i'm proud of them no honor let's talk about the rest of the season you know we're coming very quickly to where the state tournament's going to come uh what are you talking about with Co do you talk to coach carling saying hey here are the things i'm seeing to help us out get ready for the state tournament because you know we keep waiting for that west lake not sorry dip but maybe that <laughs> return to earth is you guys really the toughest region but you go knock off lone peak and you're still undefeated I mean, what's that uh, conversation like getting ready now with the state tournament just a few weeks away? You know, I think it, I don't think our mindset changes. I mean, there's been a couple of slow starts that we've had to the games, but Westlake's a second half team. I mean, it's always questionable or in the air in the first half or we'll be down a little bit or up a little bit. We're not playing our best. And that second half, that third quarter mainly, it's like they come out tough and strong. And we were playing against um, – Long peak team before that, and I was walking in the locker room, and Carling said, "What do you think's the problem right now?" Because we were down by like four at halftime, and I said, "There's just no energy." And so he said, "Will you go tell them in the locker room?" So I go in the locker room. And I say, "Guys, it's not. There's not much. It's just we're not ourselves. We are an energy team. We are a physical team, and when that's not there, we struggle." And so we talked about that in the locker room. We fixed some things, and they came out and played amazing. You guys have been playing amazing all year long. I, I remember the first time I saw you this year was against Sky Ridge, and at halftime I was like, oh, Nelly, uh, to borrow a phrase from one of the great commentators. You guys have been unreal this year. It's been a blast to watch. I have to ask you, though, we talked a lot about you know basketball, the team. Uh, when you're not playing ball, right now you're not rehabbing, what do you like to do? Tell us a little bit about Hunter Phillips off the floor. I like to spend time with my family and friends, of course. I'm a big NBA guy, so I like watching the NBA, but – I mean, I'll go, I mean, it's hard, but I'll watch my own games and study that and see what I can do better, what I can when I get back and when I can rehab and stuff and see what I can make better or what like what I can change. Because obviously you can't do much in the court now, but now is the mental time and now is the time to figure it out in the mental gym. You know, you're going to take care of that and, you know, that kind of last thing, kind of spin it forward. What's next uh, for Hunter Phillips? Um, my goal is to rehab, of course, and get ready. Um and get this 100%, and then I want to go play college basketball somewhere. I, I love it. Hunter, I'll, I'll tell you what, man. I, I'm, I'm in your camp. If there's any schools watching this, we know they there are. Uh, if you need a 6'9", who can run up and down the floor, rebound the basketball, play good defense, and, <laughs> hey, you can even stroke it from the outside a little bit, Hunter's your guy. And, Hunter, man, I, you know, I was heartbroken when I heard about your injury. Best wishes in your rehab, man. Hope that all goes well. And, Thank you. Uh, best wishes in, in your future. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Absolutely. And that's from both of us. And Hunter, uh, first of all, before we sign you off, I uh, want to just thank you for obviously having a positive attitude. And so best of luck. You know, if there's anything we can do to help you out, please let us know. But we want to have you on because, man, you hear someone with a positive attitude and the effects you can still have on your team. I mean, that's, that's what leadership's about. It's not always being able to be on the floor. It's about being there for your guys. And uh, obviously you get that. But uh, we wish you the absolute best, and we'll catch up, catch up with you down the road. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know, Dan, we said it in there at the end. When we decided to do this interview, there's a little bit of nervousness. We got a kid that had high expectations for what he thought the season would be, a season-ending knee injury. Um, but you see the leader that he is and why coach Carling leans on him um, on the floor, but now having him on the bench alongside him, that he's someone that he knows he can lean on. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's one of those where when you think about uh, what we all have gone through as a society over the last 12 months and, you know, we've had to pivot and learn new things. And for a young man who is expecting to have a, a big senior year, did not expect that to be cut short. And he's had to uh, adapt and learn. And his team has had to adapt and learn. And it was great to hear him talk about the way that his leadership has shifted, the way that the team has come together and, 
and the way that he's able to help, still help contribute. Uh, make no mistake, this Westlake team, they are for real. They are legit, and they are going to be a really good top contender for a 6A state championship, uh, and, and they're going to need Phillips, even off the floor, to be able to keep the horses going, to be able to utilize what he's familiar with on the floor to help teach and coach these young men, along with Coach Carling. He's going to be pivotal for Westlake if they want to achieve their dreams of, I think, the first region championship and potentially state championship in school history. Absolutely. I want to thank Hunter Phillips for jumping on with us. And it's going to be a lot of fun watching what happens with Westlake at the rest of the year. Uh, but for Hunter Phillips, Vince Francis, and Dane Stewart, I'm Dusty Lister. Thanks for joining us. I'm watching a Hydman 5 interview on Rewind.